Hi guys, my name is Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to tell you something that I learned and I've been spreading around like wildfire and I figured, oh my god, I have a YouTube account. I can totally do this on it even though there's like boxes behind me and you guys are like, oh my gosh, Alyssa, come on, can't you at least clean before you talk to me? No, I can't. It's not who I am. I was totally stalking somebody I hated on Facebook because that's what you do on Facebook. You don't stalk people you like. You stalk people you wish you were and that you hate and that you wish were dead. And I was stalking someone that, well, I don't wish they were dead because that's mean. But I was just stalking someone that I don't really like. Obviously, I hate her. But why do I really hate her? In high school, she was so fucking narcissistic. And I'm not talking about selfish. People are selfish doesn't mean they're a narcissist. A narcissist is somebody who really, truly, deeply believes that they're amazing. Anything other than an amazing thought about themselves feels so shitty and hurts so deeply, they have to brush it out of their system. That's a narcissist. Somebody who cannot ex feel pain or hurt or that they're wrong. Therefore, they're constantly telling themselves that they're right, that they're okay, that they're beautiful, that they're special. They can't stand people who don't treat them like they're amazing. They kick those people out of their lives. Story goes back in high school. I was in church, obviously, and we were in small group. That's what you do when you're in church. You go into these little small groups and they're normally like not co-ed. So it was just a bunch of girls and we're just sitting in somebody's house and we're Bible studying in our small group. And there was just this question that, I don't know, an icebreaker question or something. Would you rather have brains or beauty? You can't have both. They're going around, people are saying, oh, brains, definitely brains. I'm like, you guys are so full of shit. No, you'd rather be beautiful. And so I said, oh, I'd rather be beautiful. So no joke, no lie, this girl goes, Alyssa, you're lucky that you're not beautiful because I'm pretty and people just, they're mean to pretty people. I have so many people that just want me to just not be around anymore because I'm pretty and so they try to hurt me and they're they're mean to me and they don't understand me. And it's not all that it's cracked up to be to be pretty, so you're lucky. I'm 16. I don't really have the highest self-esteem in the world because what 16-year-old actually does, unless you're a narcissist, and obviously narcissists don't have real self-esteem. Like everybody in the small group just kind of looked and I was like, I don't think that I'm ugly. It was just a fucking question. I think I'm pretty. So we had a little falling out. She told me I couldn't come to her house anymore because I didn't respect her. Started writing me mean notes, blah, blah, blah. She's kind of a bitch. It went a little bit crazy. Senior year of high school, this person told me that he was going to vote for her for most attractive, for the best of the best, you know, like superlatives in high school. And I said, oh, she's not that pretty. Like, I said that to him. He goes and he tells her, right? So we're not like really friends. And she comes up to me. She's like, I just really need to talk to you. Okay. Like, tell me what you said. And I just don't understand why you would say that. I know like a lot of people are just so jealous of me. And I just, I know that you're jealous. And I'm not jealous of you. I'm really not. I'm really sorry. I just thought it was funny and it obviously wasn't funny. It really hit you. So I'm friends with her on Facebook. I don't actually know why. Like I hate everything about her, but in her about section, she actually wrote. I've had a lot of drama against me in my life. I just trying to do myself to do me, even though everybody hates me and wants to bring me down. She fucking wrote that. And so I was like, you are so embarrassing. She owns her own business and she actually does pretty well for herself. She doesn't deserve that, does she? She does, because she did it. It's a stupid business. It's a stupid concept. It's been done before. It was not an original idea. She markets it like it's an original idea. Why is she successful? And really smart people are not successful. Like this dumbass girl, who's obviously so full of herself in the most insecure, narcissistic way possible, is doing things with her life and you're sitting on the couch not doing anything. And you have talent. You have good things. And it's because this girl has lived her entire life thinking that people don't want her to succeed. But you're too smart for that. You are so smart. You get, you get life. People don't give a shit about you. And the ones who do give a shit about you want you to succeed. So you either have two groups of people, people who don't know you, don't give a shit about you, or people who do know you and love you and want you to succeed. Knowing that doesn't get you anywhere because there's no opposition. 
these people that are crazy, that create these crazy kinds of oppositions in their head, and they know in order to succeed, you need an opposition. Now I'm going to explain myself. I'm in my first YouTube video with no opposition. That was the scariest fucking thing I've ever done because I just did it. Nobody wanted me to do it. Nobody didn't want me to do it. Nobody gave a shit about whether or not I made a video. It was after I made the video and people started hating it. People hate me. They really want me to die. And I couldn't stop them. I had to keep going. I had an opposition. If you don't have an opposition, you will not do the things you're supposed to do. Why do you think that when you break up with a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you go out and you achieve some great success? You go out and you lose 50 pounds. You go out and you do this because you have an opposition. You have that ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, new boyfriend, girlfriend to prove to. You are like, I'm better than that person. You have an opposition. I'm not telling you to go piss somebody off so that they hate you. Maybe change your mindset a little bit. Pretend that somebody that you know, that you're smart enough to know doesn't give a shit about you. Pretend that they really hate you and that they think you're not gonna succeed. I mean, it keeps me going. And I gotta let my haters be my motivators. Really, truly talented people, not fake talented people that get out everywhere that try harder. Those fake talented people have haters because they're like, you're not really that talented, there's no reason you should be out there. And you hate them. And then they're like, well, I gotta prove myself. I'm gonna do it even if I'm not that talented. Here, you're talented, everyone's like, oh my God, you're so talented, you should be famous. And you're like, yeah, I should. You don't do shit with it. That's your fault, but I'm gonna take some of that blame away from you. It's because you don't have anyone telling you you suck. So here, if you're watching this, you suck. You're not gonna make it. You're going to amount to absolutely nothing. You are a loser. You suck so badly. I hate you. I hate you and your stupid talent. I hope that helped. Now go get them.